Hello everyone, now in this video what I'm going to do is, this is an example of a, an applied problem where we want to use the information we're given to figure out a uh, sine wave or an equation using sine or cosine to model the equation, or to model the parameters given to us. <clears throat> so for example, a Ferris wheel has a radius of 10 meters. The bottom of the wheel passes 1 meter above the ground. Ferris wheel makes one complete revolution every 20 seconds. Find the equation that, that gives height above the ground of a person on the Ferris wheel as a function of time. So then this, is, this is from our section on modeling with sine and cosine. So we're going to use one of those two uh, trig functions to model this situation. What I tend to do, which seems to help me out, is let me try to sketch a graph based on uh, in, in sine or cosine form based on the information given, just on the um, <clears throat> on the question itself. So for example, it says that <clears throat> it makes one revolution every 20 seconds. So let's draw in, re in relation to height one revolution. Now if we're going to start this, we have the person has to board from the bottom. If you've ever been on a ferris wheel, of course that's, that's where they board. So I'm going to start down here now let me graph height over time. So over time, the height's going to go up. It's going to reach its highest point up here. And then it's going to come back down again. So here is one revolution, one time around. And this is the height over time. Now you can see, if I use what I like, what I like to do, especially with a graph like this, is I like to use the center of the wheel, since that's kind of the axis of everything, as like a second x-axis to give me kind of a point of reference. So I'm going to draw it right here. So we can see that this has the very distinct curve this has. And when we're comparing it to sine or cosine, sine and cosine we have two options. Sine looks like this starts in the middle and our cosine function remember, starts at the top and comes back so what we have to ask ourselves is between these two graphs which resembles this little this little uh, one period that I sketched which one is, comes closest and it's going to be the cosine graph Because it looks very similar, except it's just been it's in reverse. It's been reflected. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take that into consideration. So, and you may say, well, if we use a phase shift, we could make this a cosine a yeah, sine graph, which we could. But then we have to determine what that phase shift is, just based off of uh, the information given to us, based off a of graph, and it would be this extra information that we didn't need to do. So again, while we could, usually we want to go, go with the simplest explanation. And so since this, I'm starting here, I'm going to just to help, just to kind of illustrate this more, I'm going to draw a vertical axis. So now we can see how this has been translated in, in a sense. So already I know it's a, I'm going to use the cosine graph. And because it's been reflected over the x-axis, that means I'm going to have a negative in front of the cosine and in front of the amplitude which we haven't gotten to yet. So since I mentioned it, let's look at the amplitude. Amplitude, if you remember one of our formulas, we add the, excuse me, we subtract the lowest and the highest uh, values and we divide by two. So in this case we're going to consider height. So if the Ferris wheel has a radius of 10 meters, so that means this distance in here is 10 as is it down here. So the Ferris wheel has a diameter of 20 meters and since the wheel we said passes 1 meter above the ground at the highest point we can say this is 20 or excuse me 21 
And then the lowest point down here, we can say this is going to be 1. So now if I want to find my amplitude, I'll do 20. 1 minus 1 over 2, which gives me 10. Now some of you may notice just by looking at the, by the way I've set up a new x and y axis, we can see that the amplitude would be 10 as it goes from the middle, it goes up 10 and down 10. This is just a way of confirming it. Now, so that I have my amplitude, using a similar equation, I can say let's find the phase shift, excuse me, the vertical shift, by adding our highest and lowest value divided by 2 and we get 11. So we have an amplitude of 10, a vertical shift of 11. The last thing we need to know is how is our how does our period factor into our equation? <clears throat> and we do that, and I'm going to move these by saying since we're talking about a cosine function, our period is 2 pi and we want it we want the w uh, from our equation, from our general equation. So we say 2 pi over w equals our period, which we're told is 20 seconds. And so when we solve for w, we'll end up getting w equals 2 pi over 20, which means w equals pi over 10. So now I have my W based off my period, I have my amplitude, I have my vertical shift, I know it's a cosine function, I know it's reflected, now I can make my equation. And let me give myself just a little more room. So we'll say Y equals negative 10 cosine of pi over 10x plus 11. So again, these are the steps that we follow when we try to, find, we try to model a uh, setup off of a tr trig function, specifically cosine and sine. We want to try to identify the amplitude, the vertical shift. We want to identify which function more naturally matches the setup based on a lot of the information given to us. And you, like I said, I like to sketch out one period so I can get an idea of what the basic shape is going to look like. And in this case, in this case, I, I was able to match it very clearly to cosine just with a reflection. And we go with what's what matches the simplest. As I said before, you could do sine, but it requ would require a phase shift and more work than what we would ne really need to do. From that, determine your period or based off your period. Determine your W. This goes into our equation. Once we have it all, combine it and we have the equation you see in front of us. So hopefully this helps as serves as a guide to using to uh, taking word problems and applying that information to create an equation to model it.